Hi everyone, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs, and at my church, our teaching team, when they're preparing their messages, they write an outline. Ultimately, they use that outline on stage with them as they're preaching. So those notes can include as much or as little information as they want, but they always include any scripture, main points, or graphic references they want used on the screens. Here's an example to help you visualize what I'm talking about. On this sheet, each element that needs to be a slide is made bold and digitally highlighted in yellow before printing. The reason I'm starting this video talking about our teaching team and how they prepare their notes is because I want you to know that our pastors don't just give us these scripture references and let us find the best scripture versions to make the slides with. They write out the entire scripture passages in their notes and then they give us those notes so that we can copy and paste the versions they are using into ProPresenter. I know a lot of pastors who give the person setting up slides the scripture references through a text or email, and there's nothing wrong with those methods of communication. The issue is with the content itself being incomplete. I want to encourage you to ask your pastor to send you the scripture references and verses written out. This way, no matter what version of the Bible they plan to read from, no one has to worry that the version that goes on the screens won't match the version that the pastor is reading from. One pastor I know sends his team his, the notes in a simple PDF file and that it looks like this. Each slide is separated by a simple dash for clarification. This file makes setup in ProPresenter very simple. So now that we have these notes, here are some examples of what your sermon slides might look like inside of ProPresenter. So these are some demos that I grabbed from the themes layout inside of ProPresenter, some of the built-in themes, and you can go and check those out for yourself. So I set up those notes inside of ProPresenter right here, and we've got some different styles. So our first one is just our full screen image, and this was actually made in Photoshop, but it's a full screen graphic that you can use for your bumper or just during your message or just on the screens or different places. So for notes for this, I went with a full screen style. So we've got our uh, verse and our scripture reference on this slide here. And uh, you can see that the Matthew 6, 22 through 23 is the scripture. Well, I put 22 on one slide and I put 23 on the second slide. So the next thing we've got is we've got a point. And you'll notice this ugly little green thing here. I uh, That's there because this was actually, if we look at it, uh, this uh, graphic here on the bottom is actually a Photoshop. It was made in Photoshop. And uh, I just wanted to get, get rid of that. Ideally, you don't do stuff like that uh, so that you can take away that little bar, just like we did here. So you can take away that little bar when you're not using a scripture, when you're just doing a point. So our next... Uh, point is we've got our first and our second on the same slide, which is kind of cool, and our lower third graphic. So if you're not familiar with all this green stuff going on, you're probably a little bit confused. So the green will become live video and the graphic will stay where it's at. Uh, during COVID, when we were online only, we tried out this uh, left of center uh, scripture notes and it worked out really well. So I've got the scripture verse on the left and the scripture reference on the bottom. So you can see this is Philippians 4, 8. Now, Philippians 4, 8 is pretty big and I didn't want to make the text small. So I went ahead and split it up into two slides. Now, I always try to separate slides based on verse, we, like we've talked about. And then second, I s separate them based on sentence. Now, in this case, I couldn't do that because there was a lot of commas, not a lot of sentences. So I just went ahead and split that evenly. So it looked good. And then on the third point here, you can see we've got all three of our main points for the sermon. A nice three point sermon. And that is a full screen representation of what the three slides thing might look like. So this is just to give you some ideas of what to do with your own sermon notes. And we've tried a lot of things. I've done a lot of things and there's some cool stuff in here. So once we have decided on a slide style for a series or a sermon, I save it in our sermons theme. And that way we can apply it each week that we're setting up ProPresenter. And again, if you have any questions about Pro7's themes, then check out the video I made on that to show you specifically how to apply a template and how powerful templates are inside of ProPresenter. Let's take a look at some best practices to use when creating scripture slides. Number one I have is display scripture references on each slide. And if you're reading multiple verses back to back, show the range. So like I talked about, we've got Matthew 6, 22 through 23, and I put 22 on one slide and 23 on the other side. So number two is 
When displaying scriptures, I always separate each verse into its own slide. Let's say the scripture is Genesis 1, 1 through 2. Pastors like to read verse 1 and then talk about it before reading the next verse. If it's quick, then that's okay, but if it's a story they're telling, then I have to take the lower third slide off the screen. And then when they finally get back around to verse 2, if it's on the same slide, people will have to hunt for where they're supposed to be reading from. Pastors don't usually stop mid-verse, so separating slides by verses works perfect. Number three, show the verse number at the start of each new verse. If you show each verse on its own slide, the verse number should show before the text on each slide. And as you can see here on 22 and 23, it does just that. Number four, using the built-in Bibles in ProPresenter 7 works very well. If your pastor likes to call out scripture that you quickly put up on the screen, then you should definitely be utilizing this. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on Bibles. And in that tab, we're going to be able to look up a scripture in the top here. So let's do a Genesis 1, 1 for example. Perfect, and now we can make the range one through two. Perfect. Now, down here, we can change the version if we have additional versions installed. And also, we can change the verse and the reference. These are going to change what happens with the template, with the theme that's applied to this. So let's go to options, and then we can make some changes. So uh, show verse numbers, we want to do that. Uh, break on new verse, we want to do that. Uh, display translation, if you want to say, hey, this is uh, ASV, then you can go ahead and do that. Uh, font color, a verse reference. So there's some different options you can do inside of here. And you can also select the theme, which is super important. So we could make all of these, uh, this lower third here with this uh, cool uh, circle wheel graphic. Cool, so now if I click on that, we can actually show it live just like that. If you right click and hit copy, you can go back to show and we can just paste it into our presentation right here. And then we can just click on it just like before. So play around with this because with some practice, you can have some amazingly formatted scripture slides ready to go in literally seconds. At my church, we don't use the built-in Bibles from ProPresenter 7, but like everyone else, we have our own style for how we set up and present scripture during our services. I hope you learned some techniques from how we build sermon slides. If you have any questions or would like to reach out, leave a comment or send me a DM on Instagram at Crazy Amazing Designs. But before you send the DM, follow our page because we share this kind of content all the time. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.